Felicitous English seems to attract different audience for different reasons if the responses are anything to go by. A few of the viewers have suggested new words to me. A few of them rate the initial stories very high but the correct English of the day attracts the maximum. All sounds good to us. Kashmir has always been a burning issue to us. Today we may discuss a brief history of Kashmir. How did Kashmir become a part of Indian Union? Under the British Raj, Kashmir was India's largest princely state, a landlocked principality of 84,000 square miles stretching from the plains of Punjab to the ice-bound watersheds of the Himalayas. It was as large as Great Britain. Because of its mountainous terrain, Kashmir had no railways and its principal outlets joining it with the outside world were three roads. The valley is inaccessible from all the three sides because of the formidable chains of mountains that guard it and its open side faced the part of India that was to go to Pakistan. Both the major roads that joined the Srinagar valley with the outside world came from this side. The third road, the only one that would give access to Indian territory was almost unmotorable until 1955 when the Banihal Tunnel was built and opened. Of Kashmir's 4.5 million population, all but a million or 77% was Muslims, the remainder being Hindus, Sikhs and Buddhists. The Maharaja was a Hindu, His Highness Sir Hari Singh. Being a border state, Kashmir was in theory free to choose either dominion to merge itself with. Disinterested Lord Mountbatten advised Maharaja to ascertain the will of the people. Since the population was majority Muslim, it was as good as asking him to join Pakistan. But the Maharaja had other ideas. He wanted to remain as an independent kingdom, an Asian Switzerland, which was sternly warned by the Indian government, which said any such proposal was unacceptable to it. It was at this point of time that Muhammad Ali Jinnah called for direct action. If Gandhi's Satyagraha was mass civil disobedience, Jinnah's direct action meant mass violence. He sent Pakistan mercenaries to Kashmir. The two favorable roads helped Pakistan to rapidly send the violent mob to reach the valley very soon. In Baramulla, out of a population of 14,000, all but 3,000 were massacred. A church, a convent, a mission hospital, all were burned down. A British officer was forced to witness his wife being raped before he was hacked to pieces. A Muslim youth was nailed to a cross in the town's main square. Sensing grave danger, Raja Hari Singh sought India's help. The time was running out as he knew that the third road connecting India was almost inaccessible. On October 26, Raja Hari Singh acceded Kashmir to India. The next day morning, Indian troops were airlifted to Srinagar. By the evening, they were against the raiders. Kashmir soon became India's and the Kashmir problem began. It was a problem child and still survives. The word of the day, exacerbate. It means make a problem, bad situation or feeling worse. The exorbitant cost of land in the urban areas exacerbated the problem of investing in business. Similar words are aggravate, worsen, inflame, compound, intensify, increase, heighten, magnify, amplify, augment. The opposites are calm, reduce. Now let us discuss a few sentences with the word exacerbate. Continuous downpour and unscientific management of dams exacerbated our agonies during the flood in 2018. Mistrust that remains between 
the US and China may exacerbate the economic boost of the global economies already hit badly by COVID. The correct English of the day. Do you know the difference between the words uninterested and disinterested? Uninterested means not interested or concerned about something or somebody. It means indifferent. The teacher was totally uninterested in boys. Ram is an introvert who is uninterested to participate in large gatherings. Disinterested means unbiased, neutral, impartial. A person who is uninterested to stand under the scorching sun for long cannot become a good empire. But he must keep a disinterested mindset. This may sum up today's Felicitas English. See you soon. Thank you very much.